Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to a decadent mind exclusively here on Patreon. It's November 1st. It's All Saints Day. And once again, Decadent Mind has won the poll and will be the game that we're playing in November. So if you're watching this on YouTube, happy December to you. But uh, this will be the November game. Now, I feel like I made a promise for a level, but I don't remember. I don't remember what I said. So I'm just going to pick gibberish. Gibberish. Oh, you remember? What would you like me to do? Shout it out and I'll go there instead of gibberish, which looks like a bunch of gibberish. Squares? All right, we'll go to squares. No. Squares, baby! Oh, boy, okay. In order of appearance, know the square club rules. It's hip to be a square! Sorry. <laughs> Very sorry. Start with six, finish with Y. Start with six, finish with Y. Start with six, finish with Y. Well, there is no six. <laughs> that should be abundantly clear, that there is no six. We can take the sixth letter, which is F. A, B, C, D, E. There's F. And if I started at F and was going to Y, I could go from F to E to O to Y. I don't know what these are supposed to be pointing out. Because I thought they were pointing out angles, right? Because they're all in the corners here. But Y and Z are on a side. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. M. There's no N. There's no N. L, M, no N, O, P, no Q, R, S. Oh, wait, there's N. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So it's interesting, it's called squares, but it's kind of labeled in triangles. Like, squares are formed, of course, but, like, especially here, they kind of form these, like, weird triangles. Hmm. All right, let's, let's do the things. All right, bring out the gimp! immediately just listen and not do uh, I won't do the whole photo P thing three squares dot PNG all right just double checking I really doubt there's gonna be anything for this <laughs> Save image. Save it. Oh, what? No, I gotta refresh this. There we go. Why is it still coming up as index? Go away. I wanna go to this. 
Let's see if it works. There we go. Now we're now we're working. Anything hiding in here? No, of course not. Hmm. Important to note that this is also a square. So it's actually four squares. It's not three squares. It's a lie. Three squares, my ass. Four. Am I still good? Okay. Brrr, okay. Start with six in single quotes. End with Y. I mean, I guess... If I think of this F... No, I, there's gotta be... We gotta open it in GIMP. Like, that's... It's, it's clearly said, yo, use GIMP. So that's what we gotta do. So let's start there. Do, 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 Here's all the crap on my desktop. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. It's oddly big. This is always my move. So I always do this. So it's more of a blue. This is actually much more of a blue than a black. Interesting. Just out of curiosity, boom. Alright. Start with six and end with Y. I don't know what that means. Let me invite you guys back. Hi. I don't think you saw any actual spoilers. Other than that there were things. Yeah, so I don't, like... We could talk about angles. Like... A, D, G and J are all 90 degree angles. Uh, which, oh God. How many degrees is a, is a triangle again? Hundred eighty. So <laughs> that's three sixty. How is it one hundred eighty one? That doesn't make any sense because this is a ninety degree angle and these are both forty five degree angles, which means that it equals one hundred eight because this is an equilateral triangle. I remember all my words. 
Uh, yeah, because the square is also 360 degrees. My hair's crazy, and I'm real sorry, everybody. Um, yeah, 360 degrees. The, the reason I'm thinking possibly it's angles is why are these Y and Z here? Are they trying to interpret the idea that that is a 180 degree angle? Because it's completely open. Like a straight line is 180 degrees. Degree angle. We don't, like... It's rare that we need to ever think about that, but... Because I don't know why these are labeled and these are not. I solve God. I hope you're not committing any crimes. Did I see TV knows is, is here with a smoothie? It's part of the intro. I got to remember to say that. I made it real good today, so I'm very, I'm very happy. Um... So I'm just going to grab a notepad and kind of make some, like, general observations about this because I don't have any sort of objective yet, at least that I can easily see. So my 90 degree angles are A, D, J, well, G, and J. This... Maybe it's it, it, there is like a clockwork thing, a clockwise thing going on here with all of these. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U. Yeah, this is clockwise around this face. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense than what I was originally like looking at. Because everything else is 45 degrees now, except for these two. All right, so here's a thought. Let me go back into GIMP. Oh! No, but it doesn't make sense. Because my thought was... Da-da-da-da-da. Those are all not the things I want. That is, continues to be not the thing I want. I'm just going to do it with my paintbrush here. I could, in theory, make another square here. Which, by the way, I know it's not square right now. So since this is Z, Y, Z, it doesn't follow the plan, though. Like, Z should be here, and then this would be 1, and then this would be 2. Unless I also did this. That's a terrible square. That's, actually, that's a real bad square. Pretend these lines are straight, and I'm a good artist. The problem is, this is not where Y should be. Like, following this pattern, it goes all the way around. And then we follow halfway through. Well, maybe. M. O. P. Q. R. S. T. U. B, W, X. So if this was Y, 
It would be like here-ish though, I think. Because it would have to complete the triangles. Alright, hold on. Let me get rid of that. If I did this, and this is Y and Z, which it shouldn't be. It actually, we should be in here. Like, that should be the next. Like, Y should be here. Why should we here? So this starts at A. L, M, and M. P, Q, R, S, T. Like, I feel like Y should be here. It should be Y... Yeah, it should be Y, Z, cause it, oh. yeah, it'd be Y, Z, one, two, three, four, five, six, cause it's clockwise. So this would be where it, like, the fact that the Z's there doesn't make sense. But since... Okay. So since... Like, just try to follow this pattern here. This is Y. This is Z. What would the next one be? Would it be here? Would you just be like one and then two? doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make a lick of sense what I'm doing right now. Unless go to go start at 6 and go to Y, which I know it says it 3 times which I'm sure is some important part of this, in order of appearance. What could six mean? Six could mean the six letter, which would be F. So I could start at F and go to Y. Or I could start at six o'clock and go to Y, and six o'clock would be T. I'm assuming you both know how this is done. Is that a safe assumption? That, I don't, I, that I'm here without any allies, just spectators? It. Um, okay. So Maka... Maka just gave me the hint that it doesn't have to do with anything to do with degrees. Because Maka didn't know how many degrees a triangle was. And that would be important detail. Know the square club rules. Start with six, finish with Y.
And there's definitely, we like, we should not forget the name of this level of square squared. So, like, squaring something might be important. But as of right now, I don't know what to do. When a divided by two equals at least 24. <laughs> I, li I like your rounding approach to math. <laughs> so, it should be noted that six and y are both in quotes. So I keep trying to come up with different meanings for six. Maybe I should come up with different meanings for Y as well. Because, like, I'm saying six could be F, six could be T, because that's six o'clock. Go look at the page source again, make sure I didn't miss anything. Suspiciously, 27 lines, which is 3 divided by 9, or 3 times 9. Uh, whoa! Okay. What, what do we do when we don't know something? We give up. No. Uh, we, we Google. Squared. Oh my God. Squared. Square. Oh, yes, I'm sorry that I don't know when we set our clocks back, but we're gonna, I think, maybe this weekend. A happy daylight savings time to you. Saturday, yeah. Which is good, because I'm going away. And Oh my god, there's not going to be a Taskmaster on Friday, I just realized. Because I'll be away. This is all golden ratio stuff. This isn't quite what we're doing. So at least what you've missed so far is I've stared at this for a while. I opened it in GIMP as instructed. I drew this square. Isn't this not working anymore? Oh. I drew this square here. I was like, maybe that's something. And then I was all like, one, two, three, three, four. And, uh, and then I erased all of it. That's what you've missed. Apparently, I forgot how to draw a three. Mm. 
my, 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 I love your squares. My squares are definitely not as good as your squares. But my idea was after you use all the letters, you start using numbers, which you shouldn't. You should actually use Greek letters. Uh, so I was trying to like, all right, after Z is one. And then after that, try to do the, go to six and then from start at six and then go to Y. The big things I've been saying over and over again is you give the directions three times, which could just be theming. But I believe that because of the quotation marks around Y and 6, that I'm supposed to interpret those things differently in each instruction. So I was trying to come up with ideas of what 6 could stand for. It could be F. Uh, it could be... I didn't know Sov God was, was thick this whole time. <laughs> uh, in any case... Uh, how could I interpret six? It could be interpreted as F, the sixth letter of the alphabet. T, because that's six o'clock on if this was a clock. Uh, how could I interpret Y? It could be the letter Y. It could be the Y axis. X axis. X and Y. I don't know if it's what it. I don't know which way it is. Um, hiccup. Uh, I also mentioned this is a square, even though it's loaded into this roundly. Um, what do you do when you don't know something? I Like I said, you give up. So thank you so much for watching. No. All right. If you don't know something, you, you research it. Why? Six. What can you tell me about six? On Broadway, is that what you wanted? Sorry, not sorry about what I said. Everybody chill, it was totes God's will. Is this what I'm supposed to be Googling? I'm starting to think this is not what I should be Googling. Uh, just, um, it, Six Y. Ah, this the old six Y <laughs> beast. This yeah, this is what you wanted. As six Y beast comes into play, you secretly put six or fewer plus or plus counters on it. Then an opponent guesses the number of counters. If that player guesses right, sacrifice the sixy beast. Is it six? Sixy. I just got the I just got the joke. This is not what you wanted. <laughs> this is clearly not what you wanted. Square in a square quilt block. That actually probably is what I want. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be a pun. All right, so we got quilt blocks. This is apparently area six. So if I start at six and then go to Y. Where's Gimp? Also 600. I 
that's just the dead center of this, okay. How ape you! Um, so if this is supposed to be area six and then I go to Y from here, it's DOY! D-O-Y, DOY! I don't know what to do. Uh, like, I'm assuming I'll get a word out of this. And I'm assuming that it ends in Y. So I guess I could, in theory, just think of words that end in Y and don't reuse any letters in the alphabet. So what would that be? If I especially if I wanted to start with F. F U N K Y. Funky. That's my How many? How many? Uh, as in how many what's? How many squares? Because my answer to that is four. Because the whole image is a square. It's a 1200 by 1200 square. Because uh, I don't... I don't see any like tricky hiding squares. Yeah, so th the easy answer is three. The advanced answer is four because the whole image is a square. Um, it's the second time Second time you've said something weird like that. trying to type on mobile. But like... Just trying this. Gravity Falls! This isn't quite what I'm looking at.
How many? Your latest answer was wrong. Uh, there are three or four squares. I'm trying to think if there's another way I can kind of get a square going in here. And I can't, I can't quite see a way to do it. There's quite a few triangles. There are eight triangles. Because the, the fourth square is this one. Which the fact that it's rounded in the website makes me think that's not something I should worry about. It's not what I meant. It. It's not what I wanted at all. You guys writing with all the missing letters is definitely starting to bug me out. <laughs> Not a puzzle monster. It says three squares. It doesn't mean three squares. Mod 27. What? Is it this Instagram? <laughs> Can I solve a different problem? And the magic words, what? Well, I don't wanna, no, I don't wanna do a different puzzle. mod 27 means oh my god more than anything in this world right now website maybe you need to calculate it uh maybe <laughs> and this little guide will show you precisely how to calculate it okay <laughs> it's a joke okay <laughs> apparently website i don't actually need to know that um Is the answer just 27? Three squares, there are three squares, squared. That would equal 27. Which is something I did say earlier. No. I feel like I've made no progress. As I sit here with less than 15 minutes left to stream, the shadow of my chair creating a creepy face behind me. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I was searching that.
Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm pulling up the picture and dragging it in there. Go! So I had this picture before. What are you? Mm, so it's it's similar to pig pen. Okay, this makes a lot of sense now. Now we come to my favorite part, and that is saying, if you listened to me in the past, you would know what to use. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. So this is interesting. This seems very different than this. This, in fact, could be two different ciphers entirely. comes to this is there has to be a missing letter which I assume is Z if it start at 6 and go to Y but I don't know what to like My guess is I fill in all these grids and then that gives me something. But I don't know how to do this. Start with six. Start with six. And then go to Y. Like...
I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I've been trying to, like, I don't feel like I have any instructions on, like, what to do with this. Like, like, the instructions feel like if I'm going to do something in GIMP, then it's a maze of some sort. Like, I have to somehow get from 6, F, to Y. There's the shortest distance. And then do that three more times in three different ways. That's why my ideas were like, 1, 2... But I have no, I don't know what that third six is. I don't know if either of these are the correct six. Oh. This one feels like such a wall. Like, it just requires such knowledge I don't have. Man, am I goldfish? I mean, in order of appearance, the way that I'm instinctively reading this is clockwise. And But if I do that, the order of the appearance is just the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, QRS, it's, it's just, I go around this square, and then I go around this square, I forgot to go up, and then I go around this square. Yeah. The only other thought I have is to take these words and just like, You can do that in, like, you could do that in the program paint versus the program GIMP. I mean, like, are they all subtly different colors? Oh, that totally sounds like something you'd do. Mm, are they subtly different colors? Am I going to get different hex values for all these? How did I get like a red color? <laughs> what the hell? Let's zoom in, gang. In. In, please. Why does it look like this? <laughs> I, I feel like this is not... I don't feel like this is what you want me to be doing. Yeah, it's the same kind of just like color blur on everything. Okay. Somehow erase the whole thing? What happened? Come on, Gimp. Stop being weird. 
What the hell? Oh, I'm... Oh, okay. Let's zoom out, like, a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh. What else can I do with Git? I got these selection tools, I got these paint tools, I got these transformation tools. I can set some paths. Man, I've dissected it. Isn't that interesting? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is what we wanted, right? <laughs> what are three things I do on a level? You check... <laughs> the three things you do is you check the source code which I've done, and it told me to use GIMP. You check the EFX, whatever the hell it's called, which I did, and I didn't see anything, but now I'm all nervous. And you open it... You... You... You open... You download the image, and you look at it real close. Source code, EXIF file, and a third thing I can't remember. <laughs> I did this. I did this, but now I feel like I missed something. Because this is when I was like, oh, it's a square. What do you know? It's a square. The color type is six. That's a six. Nine Hearts level stream. Comments have instructions. I, I don't remember what the last one is. I thought it was something to do with, like, zooming in or manipulating the picture. Well, I'm going to go back and watch that level. Thank you so much. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. All right. Where's my... I'm making a note. I'm gonna write it in big letters. What are the three things? I'm ready. The... Third thing. Ah, perfect. Well, this has been frustrating. Uh, pig pen, Morse. What? I mean. I guess I could get pig pen out of this. Threshold. Threshold? Like, I could look at this as pig pen and just be like, all right, that's that corner and that's that corner. I could do that. Um, but that would just get me here 
here, 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 and here. I thought I did that. I honestly did. Because I always do this. This is my move. Is I, I come in and I... Okay. Next time, we're going to do thresholdy things with this. Whew! Alright. Just, just wasn't, wasn't here today. It just wasn't there, but uh, it'll be there next week. So be sure to join the Patreon <laughs> so you can join me while I lose my mind looking at squares. Because I do this every Tuesday, and then they go up a month later on YouTube. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to catch up with all my past live streams. I'll see you guys next time.